From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Hang on to your hats. It is windy and getting windier through the afternoon hours. Southwest winds have been gusting 30, 35 miles per hour. Some gusts going over 40 miles per hour today. Uh, I mentioned earlier, all four seasons for a lot of us uh, from this morning through tomorrow morning. This morning uh, was definitely spring-like. We were in the upper 60s. Some of us were already at 70 degrees this morning. Highs this afternoon in the 80s. Uh, expecting another record high in Tulsa. Then tonight, as we get towards the 8, 9 o'clock hour, if not earlier, that cold front reaches Tulsa. I think it may even by the 7, 8 o'clock hour. Once it does, we'll have a pretty quick about 20 degree temperature drop within about an hour behind that front. And then by tomorrow morning, our morning temperatures tomorrow in some spots are going to be 40 degrees colder <laughs> than they were this morning. Now this this burst of winter that we're about to go into won't last too long. We'll talk more about that in the 7 in just a minute. There are quite a few clouds rolling through today and of course that is impacting temperatures a little bit. I mean we're all way above normal but you can tell the impact basically where it's cloudy. We're in the mid 70s to upper 70s where it's sunny which is we've seen a little more sunshine north of Tulsa. We're in the low 80s, so some spots your highs will end up a couple degrees below the forecast, but it's still going to be pretty much record territory. Something on radar, this is uh, what we call it, you see the CC, correlation coefficient, a radar product we can use to look for things other than precipitation on radar. And do you see this, uh, this little patch of blue and purple that's rolling through Osage County. This is smoke that's a little bit elevated above the ground. They came from a fire that was west of Stillwater earlier today. You can see that rolling through. So again, Osage County up towards Sky Took, south of Bartlesville. If you're seeing or smelling some smoke, that's coming from fires that were out to your west. But again, that's what we're watching for this afternoon with wind gusts at times 30 to 40 miles per hour. Low relative humidity, near record temperatures, not a good combination. Now, the one exception, far southeastern Oklahoma, see relative humidity 65 to 70 percent around McAllister and Wilberton. That's good. That really, as you know, helps kind of temper the fire danger. But Tulsa to the north, 30 percent or lower relative humidity, not what we want to see. Of course, the wind, huge component. Wind advisory goes until 3 o'clock tomorrow morning because it's the southwest winds today and then the north winds tonight. And that red flag warning, essentially, this just tells you where the most critical fire danger concerns are today. Again, this does not mean that you don't have any fire danger south of I-40. You do. But basically north of I-40, which is a large chunk of our viewing area, northeast Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, please hold off on outdoor burning. So future wind gusts through the afternoon, 30, 40 mile an hour gusts, if not stronger, especially north of Tulsa. And then here comes the cold front. Of course, this will be problematic for any fires to get going today because this front will be a sharp front. Quickly, we switch around to strong north winds, 7, 8, 9 o'clock tonight, which, you know, would obviously kind of change the fire lines and for, uh, for the folks that are fighting the fires that can, you know, be, make things dangerous very quickly. So that's something to monitor for tonight. And then, of course, the cold air that comes behind it. And then winds will slowly diminish during the day Wednesday, thankfully. Here's the temperature timeline. Can we get to the 80s this afternoon? I think Tulsa by about 8 o'clock tonight is when the cold front arrives. We plummet at or below freezing wind chills in the 20s and even teens early tomorrow morning. Yeah, drastic change. So here comes that front. Rain chance is very limited. We might get one isolated storm, stay up around Grand Lake as the front pushes in tonight. And actually, by the way, there could be some snow flurries in southeast Kansas overnight. And then here comes the cold. By tomorrow morning, upper 20s, low 30s. Wind chills could be in the teens in some spots. And highs tomorrow, a little more winter-like, at least for a day or two. Highs mostly upper 40s on Wednesday. It's just a brief kind of, uh, you know, glancing blow back into winter, though. Again, chilly on Wednesday. Thursday, leap day low 50s with a few showers possible and then after that the warm-up kicks back in 60s on Friday back to the 70s this weekend.